Isa, we went to Adam, he excused. We went to Noah, he excused. We want we went to Musa, he excused. We went to Isa, he excused. You are also excusing. Who do we go to? He said. <laughs> well, I'm asking you to go. That's your final. That's the final and the final. Where do we go? Go to Muhammad. Go to Muhammad. Muhammad Rasulullah. And then Rasulullah said, You all will come to me. He said, Ya Muhammad. Ya Muhammad. قد غفر الله لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر يا محمد أنت خاتم الأنبياء وإمام المرسلين يا محمد اشفع لنا عند ربك انتسيد with Allah on our behalf that's all we want that's our need that's something that with all humility we are asking of you we are tired our men are tired, our women are tired, our wives are tired, the kings are tired, the presidents are tired, the jinn are tired, everyone is tired, we are looking unto you. And then Prophet will say, Analaha, Analaha, I am the only person who is fit for today. ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ثنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد إن أصل الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار والعياذ بالله من النار all praise is due to Allah Almighty. We praise Him, we seek His aid, and we ask for His forgiveness. And we seek refuge in Allah Almighty from the evils within ourselves and from our evil actions. Whoever Allah Almighty guides, there is none to misguide Him. And whomever Allah Almighty misguides, there is none to guide him. I testify, I bear witness that none deserve to be worshipped except Allah. Him and him alone having no partner. And I testify, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and his slave. In the hadith kitab Allah, the truest word is the book of Allah. وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and the best guidance is the guidance of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور وشر الأمور and the most evil matters the most evil matters are those that are newly invented the most evil matter Look at how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated it. The most evil matter, the most evil matter are those that are 
are newly invented and each and every newly invented matter is an innovation and every innovation is misguidance and every misguidance will end you in the hellfire evil matters prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he declared bid'a as an evil matter why because a mubtada an innovator if you are an innovator it will never end it will never end well with you it will end you with shirk this shirk will take you all the way to kufr this kufr will take you all the way to yawm al qiyama as a misguided allah you will end up as a kafir or you will end up as a mushrik and this kufr this kufr it will end you to none but hellfire. May Allah Almighty protect each and every one of us. That's why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he declares it as an evil matter. We ask Allah Almighty to grant us two things to make it absolute in our lives. To grant us ikhlas, sincerity to do for the sake of Allah. Our ibadah for the sake of Allah. Whatever we do, we do it for the sake of Allah. We do it so that um, we will be rewarded by Allah. We do it so that we don't want to please none but Allah. We don't want to please people. We want to please Allah. And then, with pleasing Allah, Allah Almighty grants you Jannah. And secondly, to emulate Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ Uswatun Asana, the one and only to be emulated is Rasulullah. The one and only. The one and only to be emulated is Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah. He declares it and say and said that Man Apa Ali Dakal Jannata woman asani fakar aba. Although I will come to this hadith, inshallah, within my khutbah. He said, Man Apa Ali, you are obedient to me. You follow and obey me. Tadhulu Jannah, you end up in Jannah. Simple as that. You obey Rasulullah, you find yourself in Jannah. You will be rewarded with Jannah. Woman Asani, you disobey me. Whoever disobeys me, whoever disobeys the Messenger of Allah, whoever goes, whoever goes against the Messenger of Allah, Fakad Aba is as if you are telling yourself, Me, I don't want to enter Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was a time. When he was with the companions, Alas ibn Malik said, Kunna ma'a Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We were with the messenger of Allah. He looked at them and subhanallah, he said to them, How will you be on the day when Allah Almighty gathers you? When Allah Almighty puts you together? When Allah Almighty resurrects you? Well, how would you be on, the, on that day? That day when Allah Almighty will bring the sun closer to you. And the distress, the torture, the stress that you will find yourself. How would you be on the day when Allah Almighty is going to gather you like an arrow in the quiver? You will stand on your feet for 50,000 years. Standing on feet, Prophet said, yes, you are going to stand on your feet for 50,000 years. It's not just standing on our feet for 50,000 years. No, we are going to be naked. Hufatan uratan gurla. Hufatan uratan gurla. Hufat, you are going to be without shoes. No loafers, no shoes, no uh, crocs, nothing, no slippers, nothing, no heels. You are going to be like that. So the companions were like, and Prophet said, not just without shoes. Hufatan, Oratan, men and women, female and male, we are going to stand before Allah naked. Naked. The kings, the subjects, the ulama, the ummah, from Adam to the last creation, we all are going to stand before Allah. We are going to stand before Allah with our nakedness. You are going to, Allah is going to strip us naked. Aisha radiallahu anha a siddiqa bintu siddiq she said when prophet said you are go you guys all of you are going to be naked before Allah she said wa sawata wa sawata Aisha the wife of Rasulullah you know they cover themselves 
They are so decent when they dress. They, this hijab is so important to them. They cover themselves. They are so decent within the community. So she said to Rasulullah, Subhanallah, men and women, and Aisha is going to be naked? What is Rasulullah? How am I going to be? Rasulullah, he looked at her and said, Ya Aisha, Al-Amru A'zam Bidhalik. Aisha, when we stand before Allah, things that are going to happen before Allah, the, the stress of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, the stress of Yawm Al-Qiyamah is even bigger than your nakedness, Ya Aisha. It's not about nakedness when we stand before Allah. We are going to stand before Allah for 50,000 years. This 50,000 years, I'm not talking about our normal years in this dunya. No. You have to count 1,000 years before you get a day of Yom al Qiyamah. You have to count 1,000 years here in dunya before it. It, it, before you get the equivalent of one day Yawm al Qiyamah. So this one day, we are going, Allah Almighty is going to count it for us 50 years. And we will stand, we will stand on our feet without shoes, without pants and panty, no brazier, no this our hearts and calves. No, you are not going to wear all this particularly. You are not going to wear all, no suits, nothing. Naked with our imams, each and every one of us. Sheikh Abdul Rashid will be there. I will be there. You will be there. Each and every one of us is going to be there. And do you know what is so serious about it? And Adam alayhi salatu salam will be there. No, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, and the rest of all the messengers and the prophets. They all are going to be there. It's, no one will be singled out. 50,000 years. Everyone will, no one. Allah is going to resurrect all of us. Illa man sha Allah, ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم فإذا هم قيام ينظرون وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها ووضع الكتاب وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء وقضي بينهم بالحق وهم لا يظلمون ووفيت كل نفس ما عملت وهو أعلم بما يعملون ونفخ في الصور and the horn is going to be blown the horn Israfil Israfil will blow the horn ونفخ في الله will ask Israfil Israfil blow it and Israfil will blow the horn فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ Those in the heavens and those in the earth, each and every one is going to faint. We all are going to faint. After fainting, Allah Almighty said, ثُمَّ نُفِقَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى And then we will blow it again. Thereafter, once again, it's going to be blown. فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ And suddenly, each and every one of us, all of us are going to be raised. All of us are going to be standing on our feet, looking around, looking at each other. The disbelievers, may Allah protect us from them. Ah, they will say, مَنْ بَعَثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا هَذَا We were asleep. Who did wake us? The disbelievers, you know, they don't believe in the hereafter. They don't believe in the akhirah. They used to mock the messenger of Allah and the prophets. They used to make the messenger of Allah. They used to mock him and they used to mock the companions. al as ibn Wa'id, there was a time when he brought, when he brought a rotten uh, bone and then he crushed it before Rasulullah. He crushed the bone before Rasulullah. Rasulullah was looking at him. He said, Rasul, what's your problem? He said, Ya Rasulullah, someone died as a result. 
This is his bone. He's gone. Forgotten. Who is going to resurrect this? You do make sense. I want to put sense into your head. Inna illa. Or inna illa. He says, Prophet Muhammad says, it's not making sense. You know, so those who are applying their common sense, your grandfather is Allah ibn Wa'il. So far as Islam and uh, so far as this deed is concerned, you do apply your common sense. It's about Al-Kitab and Sunnah, proofs from the Quran and the Hadith. You don't apply your common sense. Me, what I see, I like you. With my common sense, I disagree. You are sick. If you disagree with the Quran and the Sunnah, trust me, go and ask for another brain. You are sick. He said, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, he don't make sense. So I'm coming. He did this analogy. Who is going to raise this? Immediately, Jibril came and revealed to him. Say to us, Ibn Wa'il, قُلْ يُحِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةِ Say to him, the one who created it from the first time, the one who created this bone, someone's created it, right? Allah, he is going to raise it again. وَيُدِقِلُ كَالْجَنَّةِ When he was about to turn away, when he was about to leave, Prophet said, and us, wait, Allah asked me to promise you that you are going to end up in the hellfire. That's how, when you make mockery of Allah, when you make mockery of Rasulullah, that's your results. It's a no-go area. It's a line you don't cross. Whatever you do, when it comes to this aqidah, when it comes to this manhaj, don't cross it, my friend. Whatever you do, whatever sin you find yourself, whatever you play around, go play it. But when it comes to aqidah, when it comes to manhaj, be steadfast, man. Be steadfast. You don't cross it. You cross it, you put yourself in trouble. So all of us are going to be guided. They will stand. And then Abu Jahl, Fir'aun, Umayyah, Uqbatu ibn Abi Mu'ayyid, and the rest of the pagans, and the rest of the kuffar. You know, they denied it. They didn't believe it. So within a twinkle of an eye, they are standing before Allah. Fir'aun will be standing before Allah naked without circumcision. Abu Jahl, the same. Abu Lahab, they will stand before Allah. Hufatan, you know, I, I did explain Hufat. Uratan, naked. I will be naked. You will be naked. All of us are going to be naked. Ghurla, no circumcision. Our mouthwood, forgive me for saying this. You are going to stand, all of us, with your mouthwood, no circumcision. Before Allah for 50,000 years. And the sun is so, so much close to you. The stress, the torture, the torment. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after he did give them this unique description, he said, Anna, say you do. Adam. That day, I am the leader of mankind. I am the leader of mankind, and I'm not boasting about it. I am the leader of mankind. And then Prophet said, you know why? Do you know why? After this distress and the torture that you are going to find yourself going through, Allah will give us a chance, a chance to do what? To talk to each other. So we will be talking to each other, and some of us will tell to us, some of us will say to their friends or to say to the people, well, what do we are suffering? Let's look to the people who are of high status among us. For them to intercede, for them to intercede, on, to intercede with Allah on our behalf. So they will be looking, we will be looking. All of us, we will be looking and then we will say to each other, Adam, let's go to Adam. Adam, we will all gather and go to Adam. And we will say to Adam, Ya Adam, Ya Adam, Anta Abu al-Bashar, Khalaqaka Allahu biyadi, wa amara al-malaika tafasajadu lak, ishfa' lana in darbik. Ya Adam, Anta Abu al-Bashar, Khalaqaka Allahu biyadi, wa amara al-malaika tafasajadu lak. So, what do you want from me? Ishfa alana in the Arabic. Adam, you are the father of mankind. You fathered all of us. 
You are the father of mankind. You are the first creation of Allah so far as mankind is concerned. Allah created you first. And your creation is so unique that he created you with his hands. And then Amar al there was a test between you and the and the angels. You prevail. You excelled. So please, Allah Almighty commanded the angels to prostrate for you. So when we are talking about those with high status among us, Adam, you will never be left alone. You are our father, so we come to you. So Adam will say to us, what do you want from me? We will say to Adam, Adam, Go intercede on our behalf with Allah for Allah to start the judgment for the Islam to start. Those who are going to hell should go. Those who, you know, when the waiting sometimes, you know, when you go for an interview and you are waiting for the results, how do you feel? So the torture of the waiting itself is something unbearable. It's something unbearable. So the waiting, and also it's not just any waiting. You wait for one hour, you wait for 30 minutes, and you get frustrated. Sometimes even the interrogators, they have techniques. When they want to frustrate you, when they want to disorganize you, when they want to disintegrate you, they give you the torture of waiting. You wait for 30 minutes, and then they will be spying you in the CCTV. The, my, the guy, no, everything has gone. All your lies will go away. When you get frustrated, you forget all the fabrications, all the lies. You want water to drink. Come, let me tell you the truth so that I'll be free. This wait, it has to do with Allah. We will wait for 50,000 years. 50,000 years, mashallah. So we will say to Adam, Adam, please intercede with Allah on our behalf. For the judgment to start, Adam will say, Adam will say to us, Yes, I am the father of mankind. In Arabi Kadrabiba Yoma Rabban Lam Yahuba Bakablahu Mithla Wale Yahubaba Baadahu Mithla. Today Allah is so angry. My Lord is so angry. An anger that he has never been in that situation before and after today. The anger will never be like that. So Adam, what's your concern with that? He said, Amarami Rabbi Allah Akula min Shadra Fa Asaito. He ordered me, he created me. He put me in Jannah and asked me not to eat from the tree, but I did. <coughs> so me, I think the anger of Allah is upon me. If you read through the Adam, if you read, if you read the Quran, if you go through the Quran, it was forgiven, right? It was forgiven. Allah revealed to him how Adam should ask for forgiveness. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-khasirin So he asked for forgiveness and it was forgiven. But still Adam, he is in the city, you know, the stress, the distress of, the distress of that day. Adam will be thinking on the, of himself that the anger of Allah is on him. And it has been forgiven. Just this. After that, he didn't, he didn't sin again. If Adam is scared of this, how about you and I? We are sinning and we sin and we continue the sin and we don't even remember to ask for forgiveness. Adam said, I am not fit for today. Adam will excuse himself. Adam will say, "Idhabu ila ghairi. Go to someone other than me." Adam, who do we? Who do you think give us, lead us, give us a gist? Who do we go to? Go to Noah. He said, "Go to Noah. Go to Noah. Noah, the longest prophet. He called for thousand nine hundred and fifty years upon the Aqida. Aqida, just Aqida." For 950 years. 
Someone will be calling upon the Akila for a few months, for a few years, and say, We passed that. You don't pass through, you don't pass by Akila. Akila is always there. Good. You know, without Akila, you are nothing. You are created before, because of Akila. It's far more important than the, than, than the air you breathe, it's far more important than the water you drink. Akila is far more important than the food you eat. The blood that's going through your veins, Akira is important than that. So Adam would say, go to Noah. Noah, the one who called on this Akira for 950 years, we will come to Noah. Noah, anta awwalu rusul ilal nas. Samaka Allahu abdan shakura. So Noah, and then Noah will say to us, what do you want from me? And then we will say to Noah, all we want is go before Allah. Ask Allah. Intercede with Allah on our behalf for Allah Almighty to start the judgment. What would be his answer? الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد يا نوح أنت أبو أنت أول الرسل سمك الله عبدا شكورا in another version uh, we will say to نوح you are the second father of mankind you are the first prophet, the messenger to mankind. You were so thankful to Allah to the extent that Allah confirmed it. Intercede on our behalf. No will say, I cannot intercede on your behalf. Allah gave me a dua and asked me and told me that this dua will be accepted from you. And all I did was to pray on my ummah, against my ummah. This to her, that incident, we all we all know how it happens. He called for 950 years, and after that, even what he did is what, what was a revelation from Allah. And Allah Almighty, with his confirmation and acceptance, the Ummah was, was wiped away. So, what was his fault? He was said to he did. He will search through his deeds and he will find nothing except that. So he will be crying because of that. And then he said, Me, no, I am not fit for this day. Nafsi, nafsi, idhabu ila ghayri. To who do we want us to go? يقول يقول لنا اذهبوا إلى إبراهيم واتخذ الله إبراهيم خليلا وإذ ابتلى إبراهيم ربه بكلمات فأتمهن قال إني جاعلك للناس إماما قال ومن ذريتي قال لا ينال عهد الظالمين واتخذ الله ابراهيم خليلا ابراهيم عليه الصلاه والسلام a beloved friend of Allah so even let's apply common sense here inshallah Allah said he is my friend and then he mentioned it in the Quran that Ibrahim is his friend. So, for a friend to intercede with a friend, that's the most easiest thing. Go to your friend, please. He's your friend. Can, can you go and ask this for me? Why do you go? Oh, the president is your friend. The congressman is your friend. The imam is your friend. Your friend, your friend, your friend. You know, friends, it's, it's easy to communicate with a friend. 
So Ibrahim, you are a friend of Allah. He said to us in the Quran, you are his friend. He said, no, I cannot go to Allah. I cannot go to Allah. I have my own thing that, I have my own sense that I think, I think Allah is angry because of that. And then he will say to us, Nafsi, Nafsi, I cannot, I'm not fit for it. Go to Musa. Musa, yes, yes, Musa, yeah, yeah. Let's all go to Musa. Do you know why? وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ مُوسَى تَكْلِيمًا وَإِذْ نَعَلَى رَبُّكَ مُوسَى أَنِئْتِ الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ قَوْمَ فِرْعَوْنَ أَلَا يَتَّقُونَ إِنِّي أَنَا رَبُّكَ فَخْلَعْنَ عَلَيْكَ And then he said to him, وَأَنَا اخْتَرْتُكَ فَاسْتَمِعْ لِمَا يُوحَى إِنَّنِي أَنَا اللَّهِ I have chosen you among all the ummah of your time. I have chosen you, Musa. With my word, go to Fir'aun. So Musa, Allah spoke with Musa directly. Don't you mean? He heard a call. He was looking back and forth, north and south, east and west. And then Allah said, Musa, Anarabuk, I am your Lord. I am your Lord. Take off your shoes. You are standing before Allah. So Allah spoke with him. So Musa, Allah spoke with you. In dunya. So please Musa, now it's so easy for you to go with, to Allah and intercede. Musa will say, I cannot. The time is not on our side. So Musa will excuse himself. And Musa will direct us to Isa alayhi salatu wa salam. So all of us will gather and move all the way to Isa. Isa, he spoke while he was a baby. That's something that Allah Almighty raised the start of Isa with. So we'll go to Isa and to Allah. You spoke while you were a baby. Intercede. He said, I cannot intercede. In fact, in fact, Allah, we all know Allah is angry. And I think his anger is not towards anyone apart from me. Because my people, my people, my ummah worship me with Allah. That's the greatest sin, shirk. And even Allah to him, say to him on Yom al Qiyamah. أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ إِلَىٰ غَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكْ مَا يَقُولُ لِي مَا يَقُولُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقْ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُهُ فَقَدْ عَلِمْتَ تَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي وَلَا أَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي so Isa is innocent. He's innocent. But with all his innocence, he will say that Allah, the anger of Allah is on me. So Isa will say to us, Nafsi, Nafsi, I cannot. I'm even thinking of myself, how am I going to end? So, you know, sometimes I, I wonder, this these prophets and the uh, the messengers will be saying, Nafsi, Nafsi, and someone will boast and say, Go do whatever you want. Yom al come before me, I will take you to Jannah. Come on. Subhanallah. Adam, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa. Allah praised them in the Quran, but they cannot. So you say to Isa, We went to Adam, he excused. We went to Noah, he excused. We want. We went to Musa. He excused. We went to Isa. He excused. You are also excusing. Who do we go to? He said. <laughs> well, I'm asking you to go. That's your final. That's the final and the finals. Where do we go? Go to Muhammad. Go to Muhammad. Muhammadur Rasulullah. And then Rasulullah said, "You all will come to me." He said, "Ya Muhammad." يا محمد قد غفر الله لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر يا محمد أنت خاتم الأنبياء وإمام المرسلين 
يا محمد اشفع لنا عند ربك انتسيد with Allah on our behalf that's all we want that's our need that's something that with all humility we are asking of you we are tired our men are tired our women are tired our wives are tired the kings are tired the presidents are tired the jinn are tired everyone is tired we are looking unto you and then prophet will say ana laha ana laha I am the only person who is fit for today. He said, "Ati, that al ash, I will come under the throne of Allah. For aka usajid al Rabbi, and then I will, I will fall down, prostrate before Allah, and Allah will reveal to me praises that He has never revealed. I don't even know it. I will never. I don't even recollect it until when I bow, until when I prostrate." And then I will praise Allah. I will praise Allah and continue to praise Allah and continue to praise Allah beyond all praises. That's when he will say to me, "Ya Muhammad, irfa arasak, wa kul yusma alik, wa shfa tu shafa." Ya Muhammad, raise your head. Ask me whatever you want to ask. I will give it to you. Intercede on behalf. Whoever you want to intercede on his behalf, I will grant the intercession and let the person go to Jannah. Prophet who said, "Ummati, ummati, ya Allah, save my ummah. Ya Allah, save my ummah. Ya Allah, save my ummah." Immediately, Prophet Allah said to Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Go, go, go, go to your ummah. Those that they don't have any judgment on them." Those that they never do ship with Allah or they didn't die with ship, go and take them. Go all the way after you. After you take them, go all the way to Jannah. I have granted you whoever whoever you wants to enter Jannah, take him to Jannah. Prophet will be going back and forth. Allah make us among those who are going to be his followers, and the Ummah will be. By Rasulullah, and he will be in front. He will be walking and walking until he comes to Jannah, to the door of Jannah. And then Rasulullah will knock. وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت This they call it wow Samaria, the wow of eight. Wow Futi had why? Because the doors of Jannah are eight in number. And then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that some of the scholars of Tafsir, they said the wow is there because before we get to Jannah, may Allah make us among them. The doors are closed, so he the doors will be open after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gets there. He will knock, Ya Allah. He will knock, and then. He will knock, and the one, the malaika, that Allah Almighty has given the the protection of Jannah, will say, "Who?" He will say, "I am Muhammad," and then he will respond, "Yes, Allah has asked us not to open to none but you." So, Mashaallah, we cry because the time is on our side. You follow Rasulullah, you obey and follow Rasulullah. It's as simple as that. You go to Jannah. That's it. This is what people are against. This is what people are acting frown and they frown their faces against. Because of this, Prophet said, "Kullukum tadkhuluna al-jannata illa man aba." Every one of my ummah will enter Jannah except those who refuse. And then the companions say, said they replied to Rasulullah. They said, "Wa man ya, wa man ya aba ya Rasulullah? How can someone refuse to enter Jannah?" He said, "Man ata'ani, takhul al Jannah. Whoever obeyed me will enter Jannah." He asked you to follow Allah, to believe in Him, perform your salah on time, the woman to cover, to cover, and you to ask your woman to cover. Stop backbiting. Stop the envy, the jealous. You stop all these. Stick to the Sunnah. It's as simple as that. You, it's as simple as that. You enter Jannah. 
ومن عصاني ان دوس هو ريفيوز دوس هو ريفيوز دوس هو ريفيوز دي دينايت ان صوف انترين جنة اللهم ارنا الحق حق ورزقنا اتباعا وارنا الباطل باطل ورزقنا اجتنابا ربنا لا تزيق قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة انك انت الوهاب لا اله الا انت سبحانك انا كنا من الظالمين نستغفرك ونتوب اليك ولا حول ولا قوة الا بالله اللهم انا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم انا نسألك ايمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا وقلبا خاشعا وتوبة نصوحا وراحة عند الموت والعفو عند الحساب ونسألك الجنة ونعيمها ونعوذ بك من النار يا رب العالمين ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة انك انت الوهاب لا اله الا انت سبحانك انا كنا من الظالمين نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم انا نسالك الجنة اللهم انا نسالك الجنة اللهم انا نسالك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار ونعوذ بك من النار ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وال ابراهيم وبارك على محمد وال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك والى لقاء اخر والله تعالى اعلم واقم الصلاه